So this is where he lives. Well, he's probably most of the time just roaming, not cruising. I don't know how many houses this pharaoh has, but it's the kind of people living here. So this is Kstad, strange name, right? So Mr. Pedolansky and the rest of his pals here are sitting on top of the world, literally. And uh, in all his films he's showing us how to behave, the good against the bad, and the Nazis are bad. And, uh, well they were in fact. <laughs> and he's telling us how to behave and that we shouldn't be bad, you know, don't do any bad things. What is he doing? Himself? So here it says children's home. Uh, so when you enter Stadt, this is the first bakery, and before there's Stadt, that way is Stadt. You're coming from the other way. Then you turn in the first bakery, after the first bakery, and it's called a uh, Grubenstraße. Means the pit. Well, it certainly was a pit for a lot of children, it was. And then, I think it's just there. Uh, Alpenblikstraße, it's there. It's just there, just around the corner. He probably gets his bread here every day. I wonder what kind of bums, it looks sort of a car, so he's driving here. I wonder what kind of bums he's like eating. Probably the ones that looks like a children. Buns, uh, bums, sorry, buns, yeah, buns. So, and then I asked him the uh, Pedolansky Bakery, where he goes every day when he is here. So this is the bakery, you know, already looking. Yeah. So I asked him what kind of, uh, what kind of bread he likes, bums he liked, uh, sorry, buns. So this was, this was the one he liked. These were the sort of bums, bu I'm sorry, buns. So this is a Polanski bun, a bun, I, I, sorry, I don't even know the word anymore. This is what it looks like. A baby bun, bun. Somebody help me. So here's the world famous Polanski, uh, Pedolanski baby bun, bun, sorry, whatever. Yeah, I'm more of the baby bums. Here's the bakery. I always say to him, good morning. Oh, hello, Mr. Polanski, how are you doing? Look, look how they're looking. So, I asked him in there, how is Mr. Pedolanski? He said, oh, he's a nice man. And this is all the, the bum, the bun that he's always buying. He's coming in the bread bar. Drink his coffee. And he's so nice to my daughter. Yeah, that's, that's where he lives. Oh, the Swiss, they love pedophiles, I'm not, I tell you. And me and my family, they terrorize me to the end. Oh, do they love pedophiles and crime and gold. So there's the big bad wolf, the name of the street. And here, just next to it, there, is the, uh, the children's home. But of course he had a shortcut, like in the night, nobody sees him. Now that's the dirty state of Switzerland. No wonder they never gave him to the US, eh? He was all protected. The pharaoh. All pharaohs. Disgusting. So here in Stad, this is the street where Mr. Pedolansky is living. Mr. Roman Polanski, the pedophile. So I wanted to film his house actually. It's the house behind that one. So here's where he's living. You know.
sogenannte Alpenblickstraße. Die Straße means the street. Ein Alpenblick it means the view on the Alps. Well, little girls, they don't have many Alps yet, I suppose, eh? Mr. Pedolansky. He called it Milky Way. So here Spedolansky is living here. Milky Way. What a joke. It's full of cameras, you see. Yeah. Probably already looking at me. So there he lives. He calls it Milky Way. He's probably spraying his Milky Way over the Alps. You know what I mean? Or where the Alps aren't yet there. Oh, that's horrible calling it Milky Way. That was really bad, bad taste. If you know what he did. So there's the Milky Way. And here, on the other side, there is a, an orphanage, a children's orphanage or like a boarding school. Maybe they ripped children away, you know, like with the friends of Mr. Pedolansky, this part of the part of it. And he even admitted in his, uh, in his memoirs, Mr. Pedolansky, that uh, he even seduced girls from here. So that's why, uh, that's why he's living next to it, you know. We we'll have a closer look. So that's the Milky Way of Pedolansky. Yeah. Behind the trees, he's having a nice view. Well, he's probably not that interested in the mountains. Here, on the children's home. Yeah. And in Switzerland, pedophiles never get punished anyway. So this is paradise for him, which he even admits. So he didn't even learn anything of the Geimer thing, you know, the Geimer girl. And this is part of it. He didn't learn anything. He just kept on doing it. And that's the thing with pedophiles. If they do it once, they always do it. And this guy, actually, he could have had any woman he wanted, probably. And it maybe already did. And he got bored with it. So he needed to get grab some kids, eh? And uh, imagine how he was lying to the mother and the parents. He said, well, well, okay, uh, um, I, I don't want the mother to be there at the shooting. Oh, you can trust me. Uh, nothing happens. I just take some pictures for it. a French magazine, Vogue. That's all. And then he did it. He even dr dr he drugged the girl with five glasses of champagne. She was only 13 years old. And that was not enough. So he, uh, he drugged her with sleeping pills. Real criminal act. And the thing is how, how this guy, he got protected by his pals, his pharaonic pals. Oh, that's, that's, an, uh, that's amazing. So there it is, that's the Milky Way. Look, the Milky Way. And right next to it are children, loads of children. And he did shag them. Mr. Pedolansky. And amazing how these guys stand above all the laws. So if there are, are any true Americans, I'll show you the way how to get there. Maybe you can pay them a visit and have a cup of coffee with them. Or you can contact me and we do something about it. So oh, this is the children's home next to the the authority to protect the pedophile. There are a lot of pedophiles working here as well. Hinderhus, it means children, children's home. And this is part of it. The entrance. So this is the car where they probably bring the children to dirty people 
And that says it's the name of it. In the house, Apenet. Children's home, Apenet. And the big bad wolf is just living down the street, eh? Here's Polanski with the little girl in the house I filmed and it says come to start little girl and just watch and see how uh, a lot of times these pharaohs they have their eyes very small like red like eyes and very near together like Prince Charles they have that a lot that's why she called them the Gaima girl she called them the ferret The bear of the revelations and lots of pedophiles here in Stadt. Lizards, Polanski lizards in his town. Swiss lizards in Polanski town. And there's Fleur de Lys all the fair aristocracy going here and this is very interesting this is what got Isis on her head remember this? this is what she got on her head eh? some more fleur de lis for the fair aristocracy like all these naughty writings here naughty letters Here's Polanski town, Pedalanski, you can buy some reptilians here, for the upper class, nice. This here is the Hollywood gate and it's showing, the, these are the mates of Mr. Pedalanski and it's showing the, uh, the same sort of reptilian like as um, in his hometown in Switzerland, which I filmed in that shop there. And this is in the Emirates, you can see the same sort of reptilian skeleton, I don't know what it is, in the sea, where they're building something. Yeah, there it is again in Abu Dhabi. Oh, they're the same pharaohs, lots of money in Hollywood and it's all the same thing. I don't know what it is. But it is the same. You see, the eyes very near together, very small and hidden. And there's more hidden. It's probably related with the, they're all related, you know, as we know. I've never seen this. This is in Kstad, where Pedolansky lives. This is uh, these are the toilets here, public toilets, babies and disabled persons. And you can weigh yourself before and after the toilet. Look here. This is the uh, this is the Vesica Pages Corp Swiss supermarket. There's the Vesica Pages with the old man. It looks like the owl. Well, I'd say they should put it at the bank before and after a Swiss bank, you know what I mean? 100 kilos of gold less or something. Weird place man, it's a weird place. Weird people. Pedophile protectors they are. And they're so paranoid, they say the others are stealing, we don't, the others, the others. Pedolansky yeah. is a very dangerous guy. Who knows a lot of people and he's part of a very big crime syndicate and he's not very talented at all he's just telling people to film and um, if you organize you can get these things done you know it's just about being organized you don't have to be talented so here's a pyramid in the Bedolansky town you know it says gold gold is very important here in Octagon Switzerland, Nazi gold, Hitler gold. And so this is for the rich here, you know. And in Switzerland the Swiss they they bow for the 
wealthy and powerful, but they spit on the poor and defenseless. That's how they are. I know they are like that, you know. Gold. Oh, they love that. Pyramid in gold in Switzerland. There's some pyramids everywhere. It says gold here for the, for the rich in this place. The Pedolansky place. We also did this film, The Ninth Gate. And um, it's probably related to the, um, the most dangerous Freemason lodge, La Neuf Sœur, the Nine Sisters. So here you can see the, the Sisters of Isis, of course. Here you can see the champagne, the sleeping pills, the little girl. Uh, it's disgusting. Now look, the Pharaoh's got a lot of hairs on his chest. I wonder what he's reading. It was very strange. The uh, same night, the very night uh, before I went the next day to uh, film the house of uh, Polanski, the Milky Way. Uh, one of my regular YouTube contacts wrote me this, that even my, my YouTube contacts ha have had sex with Polanski. <laughs> and that happened. I, I, I didn't even talk about him. And it just happened the, the very same night before. Isn't that funny, eh? Well, I won't reveal the name of this person. And, uh, okay, very funny. So this is the airport, the pedophile airport of Stadt, Flugplatz, it means airport. Look, it's probably both military and uh, civil for the rich. There's the airport of Stadt, the pedophile airport. So here's the Polanski airport in uh, Stadt, where the pedophiles are well protected. So this guy is protected in Switzerland, in France, in the United States, and God knows where else he is protected. Probably in Poland as well. Uh, maybe he shouldn't go to Russia. Mr. Polanski. Oh, please do. They know what to do with your kind. And here it says in a newspaper article, and in his autobiography, he gleefully admitted, like, he, he admits he, he raped some other girls in Switzerland. And don't you think the Swiss police or the authorities will do something against it? No, they won't. Because the Swiss, they bow for the wealthy and powerful and they spit on the poor and defenseless. As they're doing with me and my family. Well, that's Switzerland. Well, it, uh, he even admits it. He's standing that high above all laws. American laws, French laws, Swiss laws. He can even permit it, you know, to write these things in his book. You know, and laugh about everyone and everything, you know. It's a predator. So here you can read the whole article. It's interesting. And this, there was the girl. Yeah. She wrote a book now. In 2013. So what's so special about this guy? I don't see it. He didn't invent anything, he didn't bring anything good to the world. I mean, he didn't film it he, uh, himself. He, uh, I mean, he's just part of a very big organization and um, he's telling others to, uh, to film things. Amongst that, some very weird things. Yeah. And here we can see how the authorities are in it. So Octagon is just pretending to put his handcuffs on. 
That's why it's a big pedolansky and a very small octagon. He's standing above it. This here is Pedolansky's favorite bum, bun, uh, which uh, in Kstadt, where he lives, which he consumes together with a girl's doll. So here's the Swiss connection standing behind Pedolansky and pretending to have arrested him a couple of years ago. But at the meantime they let him live next to a children's home and um, giving him some more kiddies as he, Mr. Pedolansky even admitted in his uh, biography. It's the Swiss connection. There are loads of them here in Switzerland. And pedophiles are never punished in Switzerland.